What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to schedule a cron job using Google GCP with a node application. And for those of you guys who are watching who don't know what a cron job is, it's pretty much a way to periodically schedule or run a bit of code or process in your application. So you can do some form of process in a, in a manner that's uh, pretty frequent. Let's say we want to clear users in the database who, are, who haven't used our application every year you know, or users who are older than a year who haven't touched the application in a year, that's a way to do that. Or other sorts of things, maybe for, for cleaning purposes or other maintenance purposes, the cron job is a perfect way to run bits of code or other processes in your application at specific intervals. And it's really easy to do that using GCP. So as you can see right here, I am already in my project in GCP and I already have my app engine uh, created and ready to go. And so we have here on the left, it's very clear, they, they have a specific tab for cron job. So we're going to get into that. But before we get into, into that, what we want to talk about is what we're doing in our node backend. So in our node backend, I already have a node application. So this is one of the prereqs for this video is you have a node application. And in our backend, we have a post request, which has the extension clear unverified users. And what this post request is going to do is it's going to take a password from the request, which is in the form of secrets and it's going to make sure that the secret ma matches the secret we want, which is in this case, password, very, very fancy password. No, actually it's not, so don't ever make sure your password is, actually make sure your password is very, very secretive and very uh, complex when it comes to these backends because people who find these values can actually do havoc on your application. So don't follow this as a good example. Anyways, if the user matches, if the user's secret that they pass to this backend matches, we will, go to connect to the database and once we connect to the database we will use the the sign-in schema from mongodb so we are using mongodb but really you can use any cloud database or any database you'd like and we're just going to find the users in our application that are unverified so verified equals false and credits equals zero and we want to do this every week so i'm going to schedule the cron tab to hit this endpoint every week so we can continuously clear our database from maybe useless users and make our application more streamlined and more efficient. And then once we do that, we're just gonna send a response, users cleared successfully, and it's gonna show us how many users were deleted. And that's it, any other error, it's going to catch as a 500 error and say internal server error. So that's all we're doing for our cron tab. And the bottom here, I already deployed this version of my Node app with, by using the Google app deploy slash 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 version V1. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just de deploying it as V1, but really you can deploy it as any version you like. And the backend endpoint we have here is going to be this URL plus the extension. And then we're just going to pass this password as the secrets in the JSON payload. So let's go back to GCP and do that real quick. It should be pretty quick to do that once we have everything deployed there. So I already have it deployed. So let's go to cron tab, go to cloud scheduler. And let's go ahead and create a job. We have no jobs yet and we have to name it. So we'll just call it clear unverified, unverified and region. It doesn't matter for the sake of this video. Actually, let me move my camera there and description clear users who are useless and frequency. So frequency is an interesting one. If you've never worked at the cron expressions before, so cron expressions are a way to tell the, the cron scheduler how often you want the job to run. So you can read a, a bunch about this online and there's even a learn more here. So we're gonna run this, let's say once a week, it doesn't really matter which day. So let's say you can just Google it. This is very common format, cron uh, format for once a week. See, it's a very common. And then we actually have this really nice website called crontab.guru, which I already used before I made this video. And I always forget the, the format of cron as well, it's okay. So I'm just gonna paste that in there. And that's for once a week. That's all I need for my application, but really you can do this every minute. I believe you can even get down to the second, which is pretty cool. And then we're just gonna select the time zone. I'm in the United States and I am in Texas. So I believe that's about Chicago time. So that should be okay. And they say, try to use UTC due to the, the cadence that it has and it's, it's daylight savings resisted, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue there target type it's just going to be an http request the url is this one that we have here so let's just go ahead and copy that the url and we want to pass in the extension so the extension is clear unverified users so let's paste that in and it's a post request 
And the header is application JSON, so we're passing in the information in a JSON format, which is very common in Node applications, but really it supports other types of headers, so you can do more research into that. But this is a very common one, hence why I'm doing it for this video. And that's just application JSON. Just gonna copy and paste it in there. And in the body, what we're going to do is, a lot of people got confused by this, including myself. So you just wanna form it exactly like you would a regular JSON. So let's just say the secrets which is what it's looking for, and that's going to be password, the very fancy password that we set up. And that should be it. So secret, I, I, I think I did everything right with the, okay, perfect, continue, and then create. So now it should create, it hasn't run yet because it's scheduled to run on Sunday. I am making this video on Monday, so we're not gonna wait six days. So what we can do in this case is we can actually force run, which is pretty cool. So if we set up everything correctly, I'm gonna cross my fingers because everything breaks during a YouTube video. We, we should see that this is successful. And if it's successful, I know it's cleared the appropriate users in the database. So let's go ahead and force run this. So let's see what it gives us. Sometimes when you first create it, it does take some time. Okay, perfect. So we did get the success message. And if I go into my MongoDB database, I should see the users. I should see no users with unverified and no users with zero credits together. So that's pretty awesome. And that's a very simple way you can set up uh, processes in your GCP to do things at a, at a certain frequency. And this can be really useful and pretty much essential to any application you have. So I hope you learned something in this video. I hope this was quick enough and I hope it got straight to the point. If you guys have any questions about App Engine or anything else that I maybe skimmed over too quick, let me know in the comment section down below. I know it was a quick video. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thank you.